Now, procrasti procrastination is a very interesting one. What, what if you're at, at home? You know, a lot, a lot of people work from home nowadays because of, of technology, and you have to motivate yourself to do lots of work, and you don't feel like, and don't feel like doing any work at home. That's a very interesting question. I think one of, one of the things with letting go, i.e. feeling feelings, is like if you're feeling procrastination or sloth or guilt that you're not doing any work, is you can sit and feel those feelings out. So, you know, like you've got a feeling like, oh, you've got, feeling the feelings like you might have thoughts like, I should be working, but I'm not working. So you feel the, you feel the guilt. And then you're feeling like a kind of a, a slothful procrastinating energy. So you can sit with that feeling and feel it out and you can let go of the thoughts, and that will start to diminish the... Pro but I'd probably do something, you know, I'm a hypnotherapist, so you can, you can feel out the procrastination, and you can do a few things. One is to, like, visualise yourself happily doing the work. So you can add, the, add that thing in, because sometimes if you feel out your feelings, you just feel blissed out and happy, you know, whether you do the work or not. So uh, that, that can happen. But the other thing is... Um, I go to the 12 steps and we can pray for willingness, you know, pray for willingness to do, to do work or pray for a miracle to see it differently. Um, the other thing I remember with uh, a trick that I used because well, I've written a book, a trick that I did was, um, uh, oh yeah, there's a few things you can have. Like if you have like, you can have like a, an accountability body, you know, or if you go to a spiritual group, you can have an accountability body, like you can... You can, uh, like, uh, you can sort of say, like, I'm going to do this, and you let them know, you email them or you text them, and that can help you to get started. The other thing is um, uh, praying for willingness. And the other th the thing that I did with my book, which sounds really, really odd, was I gave myself a low, a low thing, which I said I committed to a buddy, like, I'm going to do a minimum of 10 minutes a day on my book. A writing on a book and I just did that because that's so it's such a small hurdle that my ego can't resist well I can do 10 minutes and I can stop but then it was a trick to to get me starting so that then I could carry on but I could stop after 10 minutes and not feel guilt and so that often that often helped the other thing I, I know when I'm doing work is sometimes if I'm doing things I don't like then I get resistance. So sometimes I'll just say, like, I'll do some stuff and then I'll have short breaks. You know, like every hour I might take a 10 minute feel my feelings break or observe a break and just release everything and then go back. And that would sort of recharge me because if I'm in my head too long and I go into negativity for too long, then the resistance increases and the productivity and the clarity uh, goes down. So that's, those are the types of things you could do uh, in terms of procrastination. Um, the other, I mean, the other thing to do, I mean, one of the things that's really, really helped me is that, like I have a spiritual routine. Um, and I always prioritize the spiritual routine first, like the prayer, the meditation and everything in the morning. But you can, you know, one of the things that, which I've written in my book is what I call like a values hierarchy. And that's the thing where you, you sort of tell yourself, you make a hierarchy of things that you have to do and are non-negotiable. Uh, so it's like, for me, I've got certain things, like every morning I'll get on my knees and I'll do some prayers, you know, Course in Miracles prayers, 12-step prayers. And that for me is like a non-negotiable. It has to be done. You know, it doesn't matter if the house is on fire. You know, it's like, it's like you know, I've got, it's quite literally, it's like you say this, you, you, you can write it down, this is my values hierarchy, I will not, because like, I'm an overeater, like, and I help lots of people who have like, food addiction problems, and I say to myself and all of the others, it's like, as an addict, you always want to do the thing you're addicted to first thing in the morning. So for all food addicts, the f they wake up and the first thing they do is they run to the kitchen to get some food, that's the first thing they do. So for me it's like, no, I can't, you know, I don't do that, I get, I get on my knees, on the bed, and I do my prayers, and that for me is because I've got a, like a values, I, I, I got a values hierarchy, which means that this must come before my ego, before my ego stuff. So I'll have prayer, then I'll read my Course in Miracles lesson, then I'll do a bit of an observer, feel the feelings, and that has to come before I'm allowed in the kitchen. 
you know. So it's just like, because you know, mm -hmm. that means my ego, that would mean if I had the donuts or breakfast or some chocolates first, which I haven't done for uh, many, many years, that would mean then that I'm going against the, and, and my hierarchy is non-negotiable. So when I was writing my book, this really worked for me. When I was writing, I had a 10 minute, I think it was five or 10 minute, non-negotiable every day. And as soon as I agreed that with myself, like even if I were to come in late, I would do that 10 minutes because it was like, it's non-negotiable until the book's done. And I did do that and it felt good. Things that I find with myself which are negotiable, I should do, but they're negotiable, um, often I may not do. Like, I, you know, I should, be a, I should be a good worker and I'm hoping to have a productive day. If I'm not in the mood, I might not be productive that day. But if I say to myself, it's like a non-negotiable, and I agree with myself, it's non-negotiable, I have to do something non-negotiable which I'm willing to commit to. I can't say to myself, I'm going to do a non-negotiable 18-hour work day today or something every day, because I'll fail very quickly, and then, uh, and then I won't do it. So my non-negotiables were like, I'm committed to do it. Like, I can commit to 10 minutes with myself, no matter what, and I did, and uh, that really, really helped. So those are, those are some, some ideas. The other thing, I go to 12-step groups, praying for willingness sounds very, very simple. But it does work if you do it. Like I pray for willingness to um, to not procrastinate and put in put in work. I found that does help. So, so yeah. Well, sort of one thing that, um, that on this subject, very often at work, I have short sure, similar to other people here. I end up with a huge amount to try and get through, mm -hmm. and sometimes it can result in a negative mm -hmm. ego response. Mm -hmm. Resist, as Sabir said, resisting against it and kicking it, saying, "Oh, I don't do this or that, or I can't be bothered." Yes. Um, and this was actually, for me, personally solved by a question that someone asked um, Dr. Hawkins. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a lady in the audience on one of the DVDs, and she said, it wasn't directly in relation to being in the office, but she said, um, when I've got a big family, how do I, if I've got to be, peel like a hundred potatoes, <laughs> how, how do I re maintain spiritual connection when, for example, I feel demotivated and I've got to make dinner for the whole family and, and, and do the washing up and clean mm -hmm. the clothes and do the ironing? And Hawkins said, well, um, Try and see the day-to-day -day as a sanctification. Mm. If you see it as, yeah. um, which I think ties into what Sabir was saying about mm. trying to get into the spiritual connection of doing the work. Mm. Um, so when I'm at work, if I ever have trouble with the procrastination, I try and view it, if possible, as a, a form of sanctification. Mm. As I'm doing it to, as a form of service to the client and to a sort of um, to mm. God. Mm. Mm. And that actually results in the very often the resistance disappearing, and I can just perform to a high level and do good work without mm. the sort of ego in the back of my head saying, "Oh." I want to get out by six o'clock, or whatever it happens to be. So that for me was very helpful as well, yeah. good sort of motivation. Um, okay. No, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah, thank you. I forgot it's, that. Uh, and yeah. uh, no, that's really, really great. Like, you know, like peeling yeah. potatoes is an act of love, you yeah. know, an yes, act of love exactly. and service. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. and um, yeah. yeah, it also reminds me of something else, you know, like oh. to keep, just to stay in the present moment. Uh, and, you know, as soon as, like, thing like, if there's overwhelm going on, you're having lots of thoughts of the future, like I have 7,000 things on my to-do list for today, so you think of the 7,000 things and then you're overwhelmed. So it's like, well, the, what's the next right thing? So if the next right thing is like peeling a potato, and you know, you don't let your ego go into the 7,000 things that comes after peeling the potato, so you just go, okay, I'm just going to stay, stay, uh, stay in the present moment, just do the potato. And just what's, and then after you've done the potatoes, so what's the next thing? So you don't you don't let your head go in, mm. but uh, that's also great, you know. Of of uh, mm. so that would be like Hawkins talks about the various levels. So that's like you know an act to be of loving service, like a saint. Mm. You know, like well, I peel the potatoes in service to God. You see, in service to God and to the family. So it's like a high spiritual that's the attitude of a saint. So you know, like I'm I'm now hoovering the floor. For my love of God and you know to, to serve the family, so it's mm. rather than I can't stand hoovering the floor, <laughs> you know, someone else would do it. So that would be much lower, a lower, mm. lower, and there wouldn't yeah. be a spiritual intent, that would be more like an ego resistance. Mm. So, thank you. No, no that's yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.